Blacklist fans, we're only a few weeks short of seeing the premiere of Season 9, and the rumors are true. We foreshadowed the time jump, but what does this mean for Raymond Reddington and the rest of the characters? But more importantly, will we see a certain character come back from the dead? Find out more in today's video. Before we forget, today's video contains spoilers from Season 8, so proceed at your own risk. So what do we know so far? James Spader will return to reprise his role as the enigmatic and crafty Raymond Red Reddington in Season 9, but with Liz Keen, several fan theories have been making rounds on what the upcoming storyline will be for Season 9. Back in August, TV Line hinted at a blind item wherein the focus was a show that will kick off in a time skip and what could be the final season for a series. Coincidentally enough, the blacklist fits the bill and now the series will focus on what Reddington will do in the wake of Liz Keen's death. The cast and crew are careful not to reveal anything as of yet, but leaked photos of the disheveled Donald Ressler were also seen across various social media platforms, but we'll get to that a bit later. Along with actress Megan Boone's departure from the show is also showrunner John Bokenkamp. Now it's up to John Eisendrath to helm the series on what could be its last season. As for the storyline, it's been teased that someone's going to pay, so we may see Red unleash his wrath on the ones responsible for Liz Keen's death. But since it's a time skip, we may see him, as well as the rest of the FBI task force, in a calmer and calculated manner. In addition to several leaked photos, a transcribed script from the first episode of the season titled The Skinner was also seen as uploaded by a certain Ali Blacklist from Tumblr. The script was posted by Jose Luis Useshi and based on the contents, the series will kick off in Cuba where Cooper goes to try and look for Reddington. We're pretty sure one way or another, the band will come together again to hunt for more blacklisters, all the while uncovering one conspiracy from another at the hands of Red. So what can we expect from Donald Kessler? Now, steering back to one of FBI's finest, Donald Kessler, who's sporting a different look from his usual sharp and clean fit. In the leaked photos, we see Kessler wearing civilian clothing with a full beard and longer hair, which is a definite sign that the events about to happen in the season is a time skip. With these photos, fans have been pouring their thoughts across various forums on this means for the storyline. One fan wrote that Kessler's look signified that the task force was disbanded while another one theorizes that something or someone may have called them back together and requires Red's assistance which is further supported by Ali Blacklist's posts from the promo. Eagle-eyed fans also noticed how his character has a bruise on his face and appears to be running in one scene but from whom or to what we're not sure of. He may be well on his path to avenge Keen's death or is struggling with the loss of his fellow task force member and friend. As a major character, Liz Keen has been with us from the start, so seeing her get shot during last season 8's finale was one for the books. We all know how the blacklist is. There's no guarantee your favorite character will survive, but eliminating the lead character from the show is quite drastic. But at the same time, it provides new storylines for those that remained. So you may be asking why Megan Boone departed from the series after working for 8 seasons. As it turns out, the actress is branching out of her comfort zone and spreading her wings. According to Deadline, the actress launched her own production company called The Weird Sister, where she can now finally produce the work that she likes and she also sealed the deal with Sony Pictures as of recent wherein she'll be working on several new series projects. Weird Sister is woman-led and embraces difference, Boone explains in her company. I view alternative perspectives and abnormalities as essential strengths in the people I collaborate with. The character-driven stories I want to tell and the unique worlds I look forward to crafting with a diverse team of collaborators. Apparently, the actress has been eyeing to exit the series for a while now, and so the show writers were able to create a storyline to wrap up her character's ending. The Blacklist is Megan Boone's first starring role and has played minor characters in several indie films as well as in the series Law & Order Los Angeles, but her role as Liz Keen propelled her career to great lengths and put her in the spotlight. During the season 8 finale, the actress expressed her gratitude to both the fans and the team behind The Blacklist and even previous showrunner John Boken camp took to Twitter to air his thanks for the actress, calling her an incredible collaborator and a tireless partner. Now on board Sony Pictures, Boone is welcomed by Jeff Frost, Sony Pictures TV president, who shared sentiments on the actress's recent partnership with the company. Megan was instrumental in the success of Blacklist, and we are elated she will continue to be an integral member of the Sony family, Frost stated. Megan's artistic prowess and vision are extremely complementary to our creative focus and direction, and we're very excited about developing 
developing new projects with her. Is this goodbye? With that, we said our goodbyes to the actress for good, or is it? The Blacklist is known for killing several characters in the show only for them to appear much later alive and kicking, such as Tom Keen, Ryan Eggold, Mr. Kaplan, Susan Blummert, and even Liz herself. But there is one particular character fans are hoping to make a comeback, and it's for the sake of Red as well. Who could this character be that captured the fans' hearts? Don't go away, as we're about to reveal who it is. Last season, a new character was introduced in the series who unknowingly became a fan favorite, even for just a few episodes. Anne Foster was introduced in season 8 as Reddington's love interest and best describes her as the first real relationship he had. She is portrayed by Rhonda Lashan Sapp, who is not only an actress but also a singer, dancer, and a Broadway star and has also appeared in The Underground Railroad where Megan Boone also made an appearance. Unfortunately for Foster's character, we witnessed her untimely death when Liz's revenge mission caused Anne Foster to fall and hit her head on the table. Some viewers assumed that she was dead, which saddens most of us if it were true since people can't help but love Red and Foster's chemistry on screen. One fan even wrote that the two were a perfect match, since Spader's portrayal of being in love was perfect and Anne was just his match. However, John Bokenkamp clearly stated in the Blacklist Exposed podcast that her character was sidelined along with Liz Keens, but still, fans are clinging to the hope that they could see more of her with Red in the future. Since the series is rumored to be ending this season, isn't it about time they answered this loophole that started all of this? If you all remember back in the first season, Liz Keen and Raymond Reddington started their relationship when Red surrendered himself to the FBI and became the concierge of crime. Which brings us to the glaring question of why did he turn himself in after running for 20 years? To this day, no one really knows his real identity and it's been a long 8 years. Isn't it about time we discover the truth behind his actions? During the pilot episode, Red stated that he came out from the shadows to protect then newbie Liz Keen and he even threw in a bonus which is a blacklist of criminals in exchange for immunity. This became the central theme for each episode wherein a new criminal is introduced where Red names and informs them of their particular characteristics. It's still Still aggravating though since Red and Liz have been in public for several episodes and even made headline news, yet the identity of Red is still glaringly unknown. And with Liz presumably dead and Panna Baker, Deirdre Lovejoy, request to disband the task force, fans think that Red may fly solo for a while. We know he's a man of many resources, but is he able to fight off and apprehend the remaining individuals on the blacklist considering he's terminally ill? There are still several important questions that need answers by next season. A fan theory suggests that another storyline that series may go with is the mole within the task force. Considering how Panabaker considered Keen as a loose end, fans have expanded on that theory with how a Van Dyke fulfilled his task of killing Liz. Several theories claim that Van Dyke was hired by Panabaker to execute her burn notice, which then sets her up as the main villain in season 9. With that, the task force may band together again with Red to team up and track her down. Although it's possible, we can only assume for now. The Blacklist will return in a new time slot on October 21st on NBC, so until then, you can binge watch the previous season for more clues. With that, we're wrapping up today's video about Blacklist Season 9. What do you think will happen next season? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next episode.